Holy crap, my mic is working. Hey guys, Koopa Kablooper here, and welcome back to some more Superstar Saga. So, the past couple days, I've been trying to record. Yeah, I've actually been trying to record. And when I turn on Audacity, it showed that my microphone was plugged in, everything, everything seemed right, but then when I tried to record, it wasn't making any sound. So, I thought it was like broken, but all it turns out. It turns out all I did was I flipped the switch on my on my headset that turned the microphone off so yeah I feel kinda stupid but um, anyway this is a very nostalgic part a summary nostalgic part for me this little area right here I just remember hold on jump using the A and B buttons and hit the blocks as they move to score points get 30 points in 25 seconds or less and the door to the next area will open so I specifically remember like where I was when I was doing this and I'll say that in a minute I just wanna explain how I how I usually do that I just jam A and B which is a lot easier on the Game Boy than on the GameCube because the A and B buttons are the same size on the N6 or on my Game Boy, but it's whatever. Just keep jumping and you should be able to get it. So yeah, I just remember I was sitting on Oh I forget what I was sitting on. But, oh I got it! I was like sitting on a little something in the yard and my mom was like hanging out laundry. I know I just remember it being like a summery June day, the sun was out. It's weird how I remember that. I remember like things so specific about like where I was and what I was doing at certain parts of the game. It's weird. But um, anyway, you got these little arrows showing you where to go. Um, but one thing over here that um is kind of kind of little known. At least I didn't know about it on my first playthrough. So if you go in here, it looks like there's nothing in here. But if you jump around, there should be who beans, which are the rarest of all the beans. At least to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure they're, they're the rarest. But there's four of them in here. I don't think there's anything else. It doesn't appear to, doesn't appear to be the case. So I don't know if there's anything over here, nope. All right. Well, anyway, that's kind of cool. I love all the, like the electrical thing, the like electrical light going on, like right here here and here and all this crap it's kind of weird because you couldn't really see it I couldn't really see it when I was playing on the Game Boy because back then back in my day Game Boys didn't have a backlight so you couldn't play it in the dark yeah I was always so mad because my sister like had a DS and had a backlight to it I think the Game Boy SP also had a backlight oh shoot hold on I'm supposed to do this I think the Game Boy SP also had a backlight so you can play in the dark, so I was always jealous of, jealous of like, Austin, because he had an SP and he could play it in the dark. But I couldn't because it had no backlight. So you can never, like, see what was going on. Okay, where is Ouija at? There's Ouija. So this is a little puzzly area. I mean, it's not really... For me playing through this game so many times I'm kind of just going through the motions right here whoa a four a four leaf clover four leaf clover do you see it a four leaf clover that's cool uh, wrong button to this day I'm still getting used to the GameCube controller um for this game it's like it's right if you do that um just leave the area and it'll respawn Maybe it's a good thing that that happened in case, like, some people accidentally did that, you know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, now press B instead of A this time. Wait, don't use the hammer. Use the hoppy thingy and then use the hammer. And woohoo! We're back in business, baby. Here we go. Opens up that corridor. Oh, wrong button. And I don't believe there's anything else in here to really to use. I don't know. I don't think you can open the store. I don't really see what you could do if you opened it. So um, let's just get this chocolate bean and be on our way. Since I don't think there's anything else in here left to do. I don't think. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's head back. Hopefully we can avoid some enemies. Oh, this reminds me. I didn't actually know this. They recently made a... um. Dr. Luigi game, like re re yeah, really recently. Whoa, fudge! Oh, no. So that's actually, that's actually kind of cool. I'm thinking about. I may get. It. I think it's on the eShop, as far as I know. I don't know if 
I don't know if, it, if it's specifically for the Wii, Wii U, or 3DS or anything. I don't really know that much information about it. I just saw some gameplay of it. I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's just something for the year of Luigi. But I mean, it's kind of cool. I'll fail. Ugh. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you suck. And the thing is, those things are devastating to get hit by. Uh, let's just not kill this guy. Turn him red, and boom. So, I mean, yeah, you get poisoned. Alright, thank you for going after Mario. It does a lot of damage, then you get poisoned. So, I mean, those viruses are no laughing matter. They will decimate you. I don't know if I'm still poisoned or not. Hopefully, I... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I snap out of it. Uh, please let there be nothing. Uh, okay, good. Wait. I think I'm supposed to go this way. I think so. And yes, I am. Let's save, save, save. Yay, I saved. I feel so accomplished. Okay, jump cut about five seconds so you don't have to sit through the loading screen for the saving. Ooh, a who bean. Um, don't want to deal with this. Um, some actually, some funny actually happened. Um, we had to re redo our like N Netflix account because we had to like redo the credit card number because we got hit by his target or something like there's possibility of our cards of our credit cards getting stolen or copied or something so we had to redo our thing on Netflix our account we had to um, re show the email that we were using well the thing is we were using for some reason or another we were using uh, uh, my email which was koopakablooper at yahoo.com so we had to re-show it I mean, so we had to, like, tell the Netflix person, like, what our email was. So my mom was, like, spelling it out, and he, the guy's just like, how is that pronounced? It's pronounced Koopa Kablooper. Apparently it was like, Koopa Kablooper, that just made my day. And now every time I'm feeling down, I'm just gonna remember Koopa Kablooper. The name Koopa Kablooper, and then I'm just gonna start laughing. So yeah, now apparently I'm, like, popular with Netflix now. Hooray! I wonder if that guy like looked up. I mean, because if you search my, if you search Kubica Blooper like on Google Images, my YouTube account is gonna show up. So I wonder if he's like watching this video. That'd be kind of weird. Ah oh, shoot, I was not paying attention where that went. Oh, oh, I think I remember what happened. All right, so you want to go over here, and this is a kind of this actually really scared me when I was little. All right, check this out. It's possessed! Yeah! Not creepy at all. And the thing is, there are these kinds of guys like all over the place, so yeah. Freaky. I wonder what happens if you do it like twice. I wonder if there's something like that, that like happens if you do it like more than once in a row. Let's see what happens. I wonder if like it's just gonna turn like a creepy pasta and it like jumps out of the game and eats me or something. I don't know. Nope, same thing. I mean, if I was Mario and Luigi, I'd be like, screw it, I'm out of this mansion. Or out of this university. Cacoletta, you could take over the world. I don't care, as long as I never have to deal with that possessed army dude again. Jeez, man. I think I'm gonna have to deal with these guys. Actually, it's probably good to deal with these later. Or, I mean, later. It's probably best to deal with these guys now. Because in a little bit, Mario and Luigi are going to be split up. And you might have to battle these guys solo, which is a lot harder battling solo than it is as a team. Teamwork! So I think we got to actually battle these guys. Dang it. Alright. And we are back. Oh. What? Wait. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I wasn't actually supposed to be down here at all. Jeez, man, how many times have I played through this game? Oi. Wait, hold on. I want to look at the map real quick. Um, let's see where the heck we are. So, I mean, there is a lot. This place is pretty massive, if I do say so myself. This place is humongous. And this is all one building, dude. But granted, um, this portion right up top is actually the bottom floor. So, it's whatever. Alright, so we have to go over here. Oh, my headset is giving me an itch on the ear. It's weird. 
It would be great if we had the, like the 3DS. Because you can't really see where this block is. You basically just want to stand on the thing so you don't like ram into it. Alright, then we're gonna want to hit this. Which will make those spikes go down. And spin. And let's go in here. Alright, this place is kind of weird. It's a little maze that you have to go through. You know, a little maze. And if you do it right, shoot. I'm always wrong on this one. I think it's straight. Dang it, I'm always wrong on that. Alright, anyway, let's keep going through all these weird, creepy, smiley faces. Like, it's weird. Everything in this game resembles a face. Sometimes it's a smiley face, sometimes it's not. It's weird. Well, that's the uniqueness about this. Holy crap, my hands are freezing, sorry. But it's like, ever since we got hit, it was like this arctic cold weather. My The basement has been freezing. So my hands are like frozen right now trying to work this controller. Like, I was playing Brawl with like my fingers like numb from being cold. It was so hard. Alright, and anyway, let's just move on. Shoot, I always fall. I just said I always fall. Well, I actually always fall on this part of it. Can I get up there? Thank you. I always fall on this part of it. This part is so hard to get past. No! So close. Anyway, we're gonna go back up where we were. What if you. No, you can't climb these things. What was I thinking, man? I wish there was like a faster way to go up these slopes. Oh, wait, I know. I actually saw this on a, like, a speed run. That's how. Watch, if you want to go upstairs fast, just do that to go up the stairs faster. It's kind of cool. Anyway, you want to get on... No, you don't want to do that. You want to get under this one. And then... Shoot the electricity ball. Boom. Boop. Woohoo! Oh, no. Oh, no. And he grabs Luigi. So yeah, now Mario and Luigi are split up. You're going to want to... Sa yeah, let's save. We need to go into the Woohoo University Barrel Area. Haha, <laughs> I called it. Save already. Alright. Now what you're going to want to do is, now that, that this thingy has been moved, we can go into this area and... I'm terrible at this part. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't jump far enough. There's basically just items. I mean, there's nothing really spectacular. <sighs> okay, sorry about that breathing. I'm trying to warm up my hands a little bit. And there we go. We get to play some Donkey Kong. Can't touch the barrels at all. Alright, let's go. Um, you can cheat out of this one. Alright, good. Good, you can cheat out of this one too. And, come on. Alright, and finally you can cheat out of this one by doing that. Alright, and let's see if we can do this in almost one try. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Now this part is really corny and stupid, but it's still kind of funny. So watch Luigi. This is Nintendo logic for you. Yeah! It was physically impossible. And here we go! We're actually, like, almost done. We're almost done. With Woohoo University. Well, not... Oh, what a cheerful reunion. We're almost done with the... Upper part of Woohoo University, at least. So, let's go back. I mean, I don't remember this place being, like, this short, dude. Uh, oh, oh, I can't believe I dodged it. I, I mean, yeah, we're almost done. We just got this one little area to go through, and then we're done with the upper part of Woohoo University. I'm jump up here and get a Hoobin. I'm going to want to get this. And this is going to show you that instead of using it all in one spurt, like what if you jumped on them, you can actually use your hammer and squirt balls of water. Great balls of water. So turn the fan on, which shoves that box over there. So you have a total of three shots. And after we hit this...
Right there, man. We're almost at the sun door. Holy crap. Here we go, man. Things are about to get intense. And finally, you can hit this thing right here. And here we go. And it opens. Booyah. Preparations have completion. Oh, great, Kakaletta. Unleash the voice of Princess Peach on the Beanstar when you are wanting to. <laughs> the moment when all the world will bow down to me has come at last. We have to go, man. Let's go. First, get some items. And first, get another Hubeen. And start and heal up because you're in for the fight of your life. Let's get some syrup. And we're about to get into the fight of our life, so let's save and continue on.